In this Playwright tutorial, I will talk about how to generate Allure test report in the Playwright automation testing. The steps are very easy guys. You can go to the one of my GitHub repository called Playwright tutorial full course. And if you scroll down here in this readme section, I have added the steps to generate the Allure report in Playwright. So just we have to install two plugins and then we have to set this configuration in the config.ts file and we have to run the test and then we can open the Allure test report. So let's quickly install the these two plugins. So I will copy the plugin name and here I will go to the project and in the terminal, I will paste the first plugin command. So that's it. We have added one plugin. That means we have installed it. So let's install the second plugin called npm install hyphen hyphen save hyphen dev allure hyphen playwright. So let's install the second plugin. So that's it. So we have added the second plugin also. So let's add the configuration called allure hyphen report in the playwright.config.ts file. So here I will go to the playwright.config.ts file. And here you need to add the allure hyphen playwright. So that's it guys. Now we have to run the test. So let's run the test. And after running the test, we have to use the allure generate allure hyphen results hyphen hyphen clean. Then we can run the allure open command. So here I will go back to the again our spec file. So here I want to run the 04 test reports test.spec.ts file. So I will copy the relative path of this spec file. So here I'll say npx followed by playwright and followed by test. And here I will add the <coughs> sorry spec file path. So this particular test report contains the total four tests. So as I have explained in the previous tutorial. So it has test one, test two, test three and test four. So first three tests will run properly and it will get pass. And a fourth test it will get fail because there is a mismatch in the web page title. So one test will be failed and three tests will be passed. So that's the expected result. So let's run this spec file now. And if you see here, it's performing parallel execution. That means it is running all the four tests at the same time. So still it is running the fourth test. And if you see here, also so i will go to the vs code once again <clears throat> sorry guys so let me open the test report our so that's the local test report called playwright test report so we will open the index.html report so firstly we will check the results there and then we will generate the allure test report and if you see here so we have total four tests and out of that three are passing and one is getting failed and if you see here as i said fourth test will get failed so it is getting failed so this is our expected test results right now let's generate the 
and your test report now. So we have executed our test now and now sorry. So we have to run this particular command and it will generate the Allure report. So if you see this VS code after running the our test and here one more folder generated called Allure hyphen results, right? So this is how it should be. So it has to generate the Allure hyphen results after running the test. Now I'm running the one more command called Allure generate Allure hyphen results hyphen hyphen clean. So after running this command on the left side, it is going to generate the another folder called Allure hyphen reports. From that report, we will be opening the Allure test report. So let's run this command and you will see on the left side, there will be a another folder generated with the Allure hyphen report. And if you see here on the left side, so it has generated the Allure hyphen report folder. So that's it guys. Now, so we are in the last step. Now we have to open the report by using the Allure open. So let's run this command Allure open. And if you see here, it has opened the report now. So we had total four test cases. So that is correct. And also you can here you can see the percentage of passing and percentage of failing with the appropriate color coding here. So on the left side, you can see multiple tabs here, right? Let's click on the suits. So firstly, it is displaying the what is a browser it has used to run the tests. So we have used a Chrome browser. So under this, we, it is displaying the spec file. So we have used only one spec file for the execution. And if, if you have executed multiple spec files, all the spec files will be listed here. So let's go inside the spec file. So we have two groups. And if you see this particular VS code, spec file. So we have two groups here. One is smoke testing, another one is regression testing. So here also you can see that two groups. One is smoke testing, which contains only one test. And we have the regression testing, which contains three tests. So let's click on the test. And if you see here, so it has displayed all the test steps and each and every steps are getting passed in this test. And also you can see the trace information. You can simply click on this and it will download you the trace information also. And, and also you can click on the after hooks. And if you go inside the after hooks, so you can find the screenshot also here. Right. So this particular screenshot is also present in the playwright test report also. So same screenshot is present here. And also you can see the another section called video here. So this is the recorded test execution video. So how it is attaching to the playwright test report in the similar way we are getting into the that means we are attaching it to the playwright sorry allure test report also. So you can click on the fail test also. Here, here you can find all the details of the failed test like stack trace information. So here also you can find all the details like stack trace information, sorry, trace information and uh, sorry. So you can click on the after hooks. You can find the screenshot for uh, analysis of the failure and also you can find the video of the Test, test case execution. And if you see here guys, so it is playing also video. So this is how we can integrate the Allure test report with the Playwright automation framework.